Raising more questions about the relationship between the Clinton Foundation and Hillary Clinton's time as Secretary of State. This is poll show Clinton pulling ahead of Donald Trump in key swing states. Joining me now from St. Louis, Senator Claire McCaskill, one of the first members of Congress to endorse Clinton for president. Senator, the State Department released more emails this week under a lawsuit that raised serious questions about the link between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department when Hillary Clinton was the secretary there. You just heard Governor Pence say that the American people have a right to know if there was a pay-to-play situation. Do you support the idea of an investigation? Well, first of all, let's give this context, Chris. This was a, a right-wing party an organization, Judicial Watch, that has been after Hillary Clinton for decades. They got thousands of emails. They released two of them, trying to give the perception of a problem. But if you really look at those two emails, one was about recommending a former staffer for a job, and the other was just somebody who wanted to give the State Department information. There's no evidence that Hillary Clinton ever changed anything she did in the State Department based on any activities of the Clinton Foundation. There's none. Well, let's take a look at that second case that you're talking about. This involves a fellow named Doug. Band, uh, who was a top official at the Clinton Foundation, uh, he emails Uma Abedin, one of Secretary Clinton's closest aides, to arrange for Gilbert Shigori, who contributed at least $1 million to the foundation, to talk to a top U.S. official. Uh, Senator McCaskill, you don't have a problem with big donors to the foundation getting favors from the State Department? Well, first of all, all this gentleman wanted to do was give information. He was asking for nothing. Uh, he well, we don't, we don't know that. That's what, that's what, that's what Gilbert Shigori says. Gilbert Shigori is a fellow who's been in trouble with the law, had to give back millions of dollars. He says he wanted to talk to, to tell them about what he, his insight into the election in Lebanon. We don't know if that's true. Well, we do know this. We know there's no evidence based on what the State Department has said in the last few days, based on all of the investigations that have been done around an unprecedented release of emails in government, that there are no laws that have been broken. There is no evidence there was any pay to play. And frankly, this is a distraction for the Trump campaign, which is a dumpster fire at this point. Um, I think they are anxious to try to, to you know, get people to look over here, look over here, because if you look at what Donald Trump is saying and doing, uh, is um, in many ways frightening. Well, I'm, I'm going to get into that in a minute, but I do want to ask you one more question with regard to this. You say that there were no favorites, and let's talk about another case, Rajiv Fernando. Uh, he is uh, was a securities trader who gave at least one million dollars for the, to the foundation and was appointed to the International Security advisory board senator, although he had absolutely no qualifications and no experience in that area. I, I'm not sure that was a good idea. On the other hand, I think everyone uh, kind of glosses over the fact that this foundation was doing charitable work around the world. I mean, how much time has been given to really talk about the work of the Clinton Foundation? This wasn't money going in the Clinton family's pockets. This was money going to fight malaria and AIDS and to lower child mortality around the globe. Um, the idea yeah, but that, you, that you anyone certainly who gave can't argue, the Senator, Foundation, you certainly can't argue that that justifies putting a big donor on a, a, an official advisory board who had no experience in that area. And when his, th that fact that he was on the board was revealed, he quit within 24 hours. Well, I, w I will just say, I don't know why he quit. I don't know why he was appointed. I do know this. No one has been investigated more than Hillary Clinton in the history of presidential politics. And I know that when Jim Comey was lauded by the Republicans prior to him saying no law had been broken, um, they changed their tune when he didn't give them the answer that they wanted. And frankly, Donald Trump is on a campaign to undermine uh, law enforcement in this country by eating at the very fabric of trust in the FBI, which I think is really unfortunate.